Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, hi everybody. Uh, I'm just uh, disinfecting my iPhone here. It's been a while. And I realized that uh, bacteria can be good, but too much bacteria can kind of be bad, especially if you're a germaphobe. So what I'm holding on to here is a compact UV disinfectant wand available from thinkgeek.com for $80. And if you're someone who works in an office environment, uh, or you find yourself in public places and you're just not sure what you want to touch and you have to touch, maybe good to take this along with you. All right, time to do the mouse. Now they warn you not to uh, stare at the UV light, and they also warn you not to point it directly at your skin. If you want to disinfect yourself, you're better off using a hand sanitizer. And I know that, you know, as, as I said, some bacteria can be good, but, you know, sometimes it's, it's better to be safe rather than sorry. They say application areas uh, that are possible, that you, you may think about, uh, for babies, their bottles, pacifiers, changing tables, cribs, toys. At restaurants, think about doing this on your utensils, uh, tableware, high chairs, restrooms, at hotels, pillows, bedding, towels, doorknobs, and restrooms. Of course, if you run this thing over the bedding, you're likely not to sleep there. Uh, telephones, cell phones, keyboards, mice, well, around the home, doorknobs, certainly, as, as it noted in the hotel room. I mean, see, here's the thing, is you never really know where the bacteria are because they're microscopic. So that's where you would want to use the UV disinfectant wand because it's portable. It just runs off a couple of... Uh, regular old AAA batteries, and they say you're supposed to hold it about a quarter inch to one and a half inches away from the object that you're disinfecting. You only press the power button once, and that will go for about 10 seconds, which is sufficient time, uh, by and large, to kill any kind of bacteria. Uh, they note here that common UV light is a single wavelength, whereas a nano UV light, which is what this is, is a multi-wavelength, uh, has pretty strong disinfection power, as does regular UV light or common UV light. It just takes 10 seconds to disinfect uh, because you're over a concentrated area rather than normally would take an hour. Um, the speed of disinfection is pretty rapid, obviously. And it's also very lightweight. So you could slip this in your backpack. Uh, of course, if you carry a purse, you could carry it with you there. You would not, again, though, want to look into it or apply it directly to your skin. I eat bacteria, certain kinds of bacteria. Yogurt, bacteria, good bacteria. Well, at least I think it's good, it tastes good. I don't think all bacteria tastes like cherries. Did I ever tell you the time that my mom gave me yogurt that was a little past its date? She gave it to me, I ate it. I was like, it kind of tastes a little funny. Went to school the next day, food poisoning. Oh, I've never been more sick in my entire life. Oh, oh, I mean, I I was just yarfing. Anyway, bacteria can be good or bad. And if you want to try to stay away from the bad stuff and you're not sure about the area you're in or you don't want to touch something that could be possibly ugh, crawling with creepy crawlers, well, take along a UV wand. Again, it's available from thinkgeek.com. Got to thank them for helping me disinfect my office here. How often do you want to do this? Well, I wouldn't say do it every hour. Uh, maybe once a week. Maybe. I mean, bacteria can grow. You know what another uh, good object to, to run your wand over? Your glasses. I mean, anything you think isn't crawling with junk and germs is. I'm not saying that's how people get sick, certainly. It doesn't usually help. It's good to have a little bit of germs. Too much? Mm, the wrong kind? Definitely not. Do, do, do. Almost done. Here. Okay. Well, while I finish up, uh, you f you're free to email me, chris at perillo.com, but please do not send me any of your germs or viruses or worms. Hopefully you don't have worms. Eww. You're also welcome to join us in our chat room. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day seven days a week. You never really know what I'm going to do here at this live stream at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.